Well, welcome back. You know, this year celebrating Easter and of course Passover may look a little different with social distancing, but nevertheless, we've got you covered with some fun projects to keep the kids entertained. We sure do. Upcycling expert Sarah Tarazinski is joining us now with three excellent crafting ideas. Sarah, it is great to see you. Welcome back to Houston Life, even though you're not in studio. And how's everything going at home? It's going pretty excellent, Derek. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're uh we're hanging in here, you know, doing the best we can, lots of um, upcycling DIYs and, you know, just enjoying the time with the family. Okay, so I've got three upcycled DIYs for you guys for Easter, and these are really fun. So you know how you get these plastic Easter eggs? We all have them left over for, from our egg hunts. Um, or they're really inexpensive. You can order them online. Well, what do we do with these when we're all done with Easter, right? So let's upcycle them and make them into word puzzles, shall we? All you need, you, I stored them Ooh. in an old egg crate, is a Sharpie. And what you do with your eggs is you take them and you write one letter on top and the second part of the word on the bottom. And then you can kind of do this. You can do compound words. You can do the alphabet, like you could do capital and lowercase. Let's see if you guys can see that, okay? Just like that. And then you can put them all on the table, take the lids all off, spread them out, and let your kids go to town making a puzzle, which is really fun, because then you have a, a way to use these bright colored eggs again. Cute. I and love then, that. That's so great, especially for the young kids who are learning, you know, how to put the words together. I think that's so great. The other thing that I noticed, um, Sarah, is in, in sort of a clean out situation, I found a lot of books that maybe mm -hmm. weren't great to donate or put in one of our living libraries in our neighborhood because like the covers torn off or pages are missing. What do we do with the books that we have laying around that we just can't donate? You can't read them. Right. So this is, I mean, we all know with kids, they get chewed on or ripped up for sure. So I had this <laughs> book and I took it and made it into garland for Easter. You guys, this is so fun. And you could do this for any holiday. Uh, very, very simple, very fun. A little Easter bunny garland. So how you do this is you take your book pages and you want to fold them in half. I did it on a piece of construction paper to kind of make it a little easier to show. And then you just fold your page in half and you want to draw a little outline of a bunny and then you come through with your scissors and you cut that out, right? And then it ends up here. I did it with the cover of the book. And then what you do is you come through with your little hole punch and you put a little hole punch in each of the ears. And then of course, a little bit of glue right here, right? And you take a cotton ball and stick it right on there. That is and so then you've cute. Got these isn't it so cute? And then you've got these great so little bunnies. You can do this for any holiday, any animal. I mean, it's just so fun. And then you've got this great little garland to hang up and the kids can look at it. Something festive you can do. Obviously, we're not running out to craft stores and things, but we, most of us have all of these things at home. Another thing a lot of us have at home would be an old soda bottle or a, soda, a recently emptied soda bottle. And I yeah. understand you can turn that into a little planter. Yes, look how cute this is, guys. This is a little bunny planter for Easter. Again, you could do any animal. How fun is that? Aww. So very easy steps for this guy. Two liter bottle, you could do a one liter bottle, you could do a water bottle, any type of plastic bottle, right? So you take your bottle, I've kind of done the steps over here for us, and you take your X-Acto knife and you cut the lid off, right? And then I went through with the Sharpie, and I put this behind it to see if you can see it a little bit better. And I drew the outline of the bunny ears on the bottle. Then you come through with your scissors and you cut the outline of the bunny. And then it's as easy as painting it. Whatever paint you have around, I always have a bottle of white spray paint around, but you could use any kind of paint. Spray paint tends to work better. If you're gonna use like at home paint, you might wanna rough up the plastic a little bit. And then mm -hmm. you can pop a couple of holes in the bottom of it if you're going to put a like a planted plant in here. If you're going to do just flowers, then obviously you wouldn't poke a hole in the bottom. Then you spray paint it, give it about an hour to dry. It paints covers very, very quickly. Then you take your Sharpies and you have your kids draw a little bunny face on there, however they want. And you've got this great little planter and you can, the kids can write a little message. You could put them on your, a neighbor's front porch that might not have a lot of relatives or anyone visiting mm -hmm. them and just kind of ring the doorbell and run away. I mean, what a great little thing to do to brighten someone's day. You give us so much hope and inspiration. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Courtney. Well, I try to make it super easy, you know. It's not, it's not, I don't like too many steps in my DIYs. It's gotta be easy, right? 
Well, and you know, Sarah, these days, Courtney has really taken up the crafting at home. So, Courtney, for someone who used to not love to craft, I know you are the reigning queen. <laughs> Sarah, it is so great to see you. And, Good to uh, see you guys, we too. We look forward to the time when we can have you back here in our studio. And, Courtney, I you know, back here me in too, studio guys. as well. Stay safe. As always, you can check out our website, HoustonLife.tv, if you would like to connect with Sarah.